Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart, your source for exceptional video analysis of stocks, ETFs, and indices so you can become a better trader or investor. Welcome back. Today is Saturday, uh, September 26th. I was going to say November, no, September 26th. We're going to take a look at the market action here uh, for the week and, uh, and then review some of the um, trade ideas that are shared with the insider members uh, and kind of just to do a quick review of a handful of those. All right, let's start off here with the New York Composite. The New York Composite uh, the, is a broader measure of the of the market. I think it's got like you know, somewhere between 2,000, 2,500 uh, stocks in it. And it was up 19 for the day. But the real story here is that, you know, it was up in the morning and then sold back off in the afternoon. And all of the indices were kind of mixed. The Dow was up 100. The S&P 500 was down 0.9. And, uh, and then, of course, this one was up 19 for the day. Uh, let's take a quick look at the Russell 2000, which was very negative. You look at this bearish engulfing bar here on the Russell 2000, down 14.7 for the day. So it didn't get nearly as high and then got fairly low in the sell-off. And when we say bearish engulfing, it's because the previous day closed right here and it opened higher, went higher, came back down and closed, went to a lower low. So we had a higher high and a lower low, plus we gapped and in opened higher and closed lower than the low. So a very bearish engulfing day on the uh, Russell 2000. Let's take a look at the weekly on the New York Composite and you can see what this weekly picture like looks like. Lowest weekly close since October 11th, 2013. So uh, about two years in terms of the lowest close. And you can see that a little bit better when you look at it from this perspective. And you see all the way back, this is the first week that's got a lower close all the way back here. Uh, so still in a pretty solid downtrend. The Russell 2000 on a weekly basis isn't nearly, uh, hasn't uh, accelerated and gotten as low, but it looks like it's trying to catch up fairly quickly here with this big down week. And let's see, what was the low three weeks ago or four weeks ago? 11.24.46. So we closed below the trading of the last three weeks. And again, this is the lowest close since uh, October 24, so 11 months on the Russell 2000. We're going to take a look at uh, one indicator today. Let's go back to the, uh, I want to go to the New York Composite Day. Let's take a look at the McClellan Oscillator. <clears throat> and you can see we, we had a little pop up here yesterday, but for the week we've come down. And we're still in what I call neutral zone in here. This is not by any means oversold. We're not like down here like we got many times earlier this year and then as the extreme in August. Uh, so we're really, really still in a neutral area as far as I could tell. And uh, that leaves plenty of room for this thing to go down if it wants to go down. And it sure acts like it wants to continue to go down. Let's take a look at the high yield bond fund. That was big in the news on Friday. And why? Because it had a big down day. And so it really acted a lot more bearish than the rest of the market and uh, continued to go down on a weekly basis. Uh, you can see this chart and let me zoom back out of it. But the lowest weekly close on the knee on the high yield bond fund since this week back here, November 2011. So almost four years. It sure looks like it's putting in a top when you back out and look at this. You know, it's broken this trend line. It sure looks like it's topping out in here and is breaking down out of that. So pretty negative picture and it's just reinforcing the downtrend that we're seeing in the high yield. Okay, so a quick look at uh, CAT. This is one of the trade ideas that the insider members have been in this week. It looks very, very well. We're not totally out of it yet, but it's it's turning into an extremely profitable trade. And of course, Thursday had the big gap down by CAT, and it's continued to push down. Uh, even though the market tried to rally Friday morning, etc., and the Badal was up 100 for the day, CAT was down on Friday. Uh, FireEye, same thing. We've been riding a really nice trend down in this trade idea. And uh, that is working out very well, and we're still in it for a portion. Uh, let's see, Alibaba. Alibaba has been acting terrible. And of course, uh, you know, this has continued to, to push lower here, push lower for the week. Uh, let's see how it looks on a weekly basis, and it's going to leave those dots in there. But look, look how, how low this is. 
And this is all the trading. So this is the whole sum for Alibaba. And it's almost closing at, a, you know, all time low here in terms of even on an intra week basis. And the last one we'll take a quick look at is Solar City. And Solar City took a pretty good whack down also uh, last uh, three Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And again, we got into this trade earlier uh, and uh, has worked out very, very well in this trade idea. And we're still in for a portion of this, I believe. So uh, these are just a portion of the trade ideas that have been shared to the insider members. If you want to get all the detail, uh, check out the join page on the website and uh, come on in and be an insider member. You get complete access to everything I talk about in terms of the indices, the indicators, all the indicators. Uh, Elliott wave count on all the indicate on in, on the indices, free training, and then of course access to the trade ideas and ask Joe. All right, that's it for the weekend. Everyone have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week.